All right, hello again, everybody. We are back. It's your friend Will. This is the memory lapse. We are 2 0 with the Phoenix deck going into round three. And what is our fourth video of the series? Uh, playing with this undefeated Arc Light Phoenix deck from the Pro Tour. A more controlling take on it with some interesting one of cards. As always, thanks everyone for coming to hang out, watching the videos, leaving comments, which I really appreciate. Um, subscribing if you haven't, which I would very much appreciate. All right, mono red. That'll likely be the Lava Coil target next turn. Hmm. I don't think Radical Idea does enough for us to keep us alive as much as I'd like to take it. I think the name of this game is just staying alive <clears throat> long enough to get Cackling Drake down. So next turn it'll be Electromancer opt into C Crackling Drake and then hoping that we just, that that is big enough to block for a minute. If we draw like a Lava Coil even better, we can go Electromancer Lava Coil. Murmuring Mystic is a good draw. So we're just playing him out as a little Lightning Rod here. With the Murmuring Mystic, we maybe think about not playing this Opt now. And in fact, I think we don't. <clears throat> I don't think there's too much that we're going to draw off of Opt that's going to change what we want to play next turn, which is Crackling Drake. <clears throat> which would draw us a card and blocks. In some small degree, at least. <clears throat> Chart course, beautiful. Now I guess we'll see how they, all right, so they're gonna do this and they're gonna follow it up with a lightning strike. Yeah. Well, they're down to one card and we're about to make blockers and we're about to put a one five into play. That all seems very good to me. I'm not exactly pleased about this, but I think we have to call their bluff to a little bit here. Another lightning strike, okay. All right, looks like we're gonna be charting for two cards here. If they're just going to draw a red lightning strike in their deck, that's going to happen. We're not going to get a good block in. Uh, hmm. All right. So let's do, do this to try to find some gas then. Just looking for anything big that'll end the game here. Tormenting sees two. Yeah. I don't think we want to stack multiple Tormenting Voices into our hand. All right, chart for two. Radical idea. Hmm. 
All right, so they're playing off the top. Nine points of direct damage were already in the graveyard, so I don't think we're worried about them just like peeling multiple deal threes. <laughs> Here we go. Guess it depends on how many Wizards Lightning they run. All right, Phoenix number one is good. Beacon Bolt, Crackling Drake. Crackling Drake will close out the game very quickly. I guess here we'll look for two more. Crackling Drake, okay. So they have to kill us here. I think we rate, yeah, I mean, even if they somehow kill these and not the Drake, I think we rate to get there on the Drake by itself. Oh, this is bad. Now any like one damage goblin or Shaw or anything off the top kills us. Looks like they hit land, so. Now they found so much of their burn that game. So I bet we're bringing in Murmuring Mystic here. Yeah, it's very similar. Murmuring, Myst Murmuring Mystic, Ship and Fire, Drake, and Negate. That makes sense. I guess Melody is not so good against them. Because so we can answer all their creatures. So we take out two Radical Ideas, two Beacon Bolts, Oop. and one Conjecture. Pretty similar configuration as to against mono white, or I should say the white weenie decks. That one uh, bird token was a champ. It helped us draw four cards off of Charter Course. And that was the reason I played it that way, partially too, because I knew I didn't want to just make a token and block with a token. I wanted to get two cards off, off that chart. It did cost us the 1 5, but the 1 5 ate 6 damage for us. Hmm. I think this is a mulligan. As much as it's got like a lot of good cards in it. Alright, much better. I think we can even keep chart. All right, I'm not too worried about shocking this. They're stuck on one land. I wonder if they keep shocking in this matchup. I think it's probably better for us to hold and do shock opt. Let's opt first. No shock, we do want that. If this is how their hand is going to play out, I'm okay doing it like this. Is it guild gate? It's a shock, that's okay. I didn't really want to chart there. I mean, I, eh, maybe I could have charted and discarded the guild gate, but I kind of want to save this for all right, I'm going to take one. I want to save the shock for something a little more threatening at this point. All right, I guess I'm going to chart now with another brick off the top.
Well, we're in an okay spot. We haven't taken too much damage. We have some spells in the graveyard if we draw anything. They have no... They're, oh, their whole hand must be burned. Okay, so we're going to kill this here. We don't want to take any more damage off it then. Playing Shock over Shiv Shivan Fire, because with one more land drop, we can actually kick this to answer something. Hmm, Drake into Drake is really good, especially if they're going to use like two burn spells here, maybe, to kill it. Goblin Chain Whirler. All right, so it looks like our Drake is going to live. Live at least this turn. Is there a compelling reason not to just keep playing Drakes? I don't think so. I think we're probably just double blocking here. Yeah, well now we're not we're not they're not gonna attack, so that's good. <clears throat> Their hand must be garbage. Kind of weird that they played it like that. Alright, I'll play this now because there there is a difference between five and four. Five here means next turn they're dead. Unless they answer one of the drakes. <clears throat> so it's going to force them to put any burn on the drakes, which I think is overall... I mean, they're probably going to do that no matter what. All right, yeah, they got one. Mm. I mean, maybe that's an argument to attack with two last turn. The argument that they were going to rip consecutive kill spells capable of taking the drake down. Uh, hmm. Oh, I guess we start off... Do we just want to hard cast this? Hard cast it and use it as a blocker. I have a lava coil in hand. <clears throat> oh, cool. We actually get to prevent damage here, which is awesome. All right, cheap spell on top would be sick. Phoenix is not awful. But I think I'd rather kill the Chain Whirler. And then just make them kill me. Or kill the Drake here. We've used two shocks. So we can top deck a shock for the win. If they don't answer the Drake, I have to imagine they're answering the Drake here. Lightning Strike. Electromancer.
All right. Oh, we just need to rip spells. Oh, that's really bad. We did flood out a little bit here. This lets us get damage in. And attacking with Electromancer puts him into shock range. And if we top deck another arc light as well, that's lethal. Oh, they're just gonna go for it. Okay. Too bad there's no spell here to set up lethal for next turn. Yeah. So now they just need a shock. Shock under the firebrand does it for them. All right, Tormenting Voice is a good start. We need to hit like double spell here. All right, that works. They have Shock on top. Yeah, that was pretty good. We beat double frenzies here. Unless they're just slow rolling uh, the win on us. Yeah, they're not. That would be pretty rude. All right, that was really close. Really, really, really close. Can't remember, did we go 2 0 against them or 2 1? I think we just 2 0 them. Nice long games. Did a decent job controlling the board. Um, maybe we took a little bit too much damage off those firebrands in those first few turns when they were stuck, but I was a little bit worried about them just like playing a second land and just having a lot of pyromancers. That represented a lot more damage, but ultimately it worked out. We held that Shivan Fire to kick it to kill a 3 3, which was good. So, yeah, there we go. Another win in the books. Um, 3 0 in competitive constructed. Hope you're all enjoying. As always, please remember to subscribe, leave a comment, and get at me on Twitter. Uh, you can see that info below, and we will be back again soon with the next round.